Here we go. Welcome to Just Curious Media. This is Dog Gone, and I'm Jason Connell. So for those familiar with Dog Gone, this newer podcast from Just Curious Media, you'll know that, it, that it's a dog lover's podcast devoted to honoring the lives and memories of man's best friend. And we have been fortunate enough to have two episodes thus far. The first episode, I was sharing the story of Nico, Nicolas Connell, my beloved white German shepherd, who I lost last year. Oddly enough, it was almost a year, May 11th, and I'm recording this on May 8th, a year later. It still hurts. I dream about Nico. We had, Sophia and I just moved in the last six, seven months to a new place. It's lovely, right by the water. There's all this space, lots of acres. He would have loved it here, and he never had the opportunity to be here with us. So he's here in spirit, and I've never stopped thinking about him, and nor have I been in a hurry to get a new dog. But I started this podcast as a way for me to deal with my grief and also a chance and a forum for others to come and celebrate their dog's lives. And we had a second episode, which was fantastic, and we talked about Kumo, the Yorkshire Terrier, Michelle Loss's wonderful uh, best friend and dog and covered it on the show, released it, I think it was May 31st. So as I line up more guests, it's not that easy. It's a new show. It deals with heartache and you got to get the right person. They have to have had a dog. And so I'm lining some up. I do have a third person ready. But rather than have just downtime, which is going to happen until we hit, you know, a critical mass on this show and we have lots of people lined up, something hit me the other day when I read this article. And I figured I'm going to come back and do some tribute episodes without the person because I read it and it's a way to honor them and their dog. And at least we have some content coming out that's in this space as we line up more guests. And if you don't want to come on as a guest and you'd rather just send us your information to be on a tribute episode, a shorter episode such as this, please do so. This show is still finding its way, but we believe in what we're doing and uh, we'll keep coming back with more. So what sparked my idea, my this interest, this idea? I read this headline. Pete Davidson mourns death of two-year-old dog Henry, quote, not sure I'd be around without him. So Pete Davidson, obviously a well-known comic, 29-year-old comedian, was on Saturday Night Live and movies, and he's been in the space. And I read this and thought, oh my gosh, and a two-year-old dog, that is like, wow, losing him early is hard. Obviously, you want them to live as long as they can, but that's incredibly early. So this is a tribute episode for Henry, the toy poodle. And I'll just read some of the stuff that was in this article because it got a lot of buzz. It got, you know, a lot of publications picked it up. And I was just really touched and moved by it. And I wanted to share it here. So Pete Davidson shared this news on Thursday, May 4th, 2023, with an emotional message posted on the Instagram account of David Cyrus, who's a writer on Davidson's new Peacock series, Bupkis. So since leaving Saturday Night Live last May, after eight seasons, Davidson has focused his attention on this new show, Butkus, or Bubkiss, which is semi-autobiographical and has him playing a fictionalized version of himself. I'm unfamiliar with the show, but I may tune in now. And the series also stars Edie Falco, The Sopranos, Joe Pesci, Goodfellas, so many more, Casino, also a comic in Home Alone. And it also stars Chase Sue Wonders. Now, Pete Davidson has been very open about his mental health struggles over the years and famously lived in his mother's basement until he moved out in 2021. The actor remains quite close with his mother and sister and both recently attended the premiere of Bupkis. Now, here's the message. And by the way, this is Henry. I'm going to show the photo for those looking on YouTube or YouTube Live. So cute. Look at this guy. Toy poodle. He's got a little blue handkerchief on. He is just adorable. And I'll show you a couple more photos here. 
This was in the magazine. So it's the same photo of Henry, but yeah, Pete Davidson, in case you didn't know who he was. And then here is Pete holding, it looks like he's got like a, you know, a face mask below his chin, like a chin strap. And he's got Henry there who's got like, let me read this real fast. Good dog on his little outfit. So very, very cute. I'm going to go back to the first photo of Sir Henry. Rest in peace, Henry. But very sad. And, and this is more about what he meant to Pete Davidson. A message from Pete. Hi, guys. I know today is the Bupkis premiere. Sorry, I'll get that right. I know today is the Bupkis premiere day, but I want to use today to remember my dog, Henry. Yesterday, we lost a key member of the Davidson family. Henry was only two years old, but unfortunately got very sick very fast. My mom, sister, and I got Henry at the beginning of the pandemic, and he saved our lives. Not sure I'd even be around without him. He was the happiest and sweetest dog ever. He used to get excited when he saw me and would pee everywhere. <laughs> That's hilarious. When I was working at SNL, my mom would send me videos of him watching, smiling, and making noise when I came on screen. I don't ever really watch any of my stuff with anyone, as I'm far too scared. But I didn't mind watching with Henry. He was truly the best. My mom, sister, and I are heartbroken. Sorry, I said heartbroken. My mom, sister, and I are broken, and we miss him forever. We love you, Henry. Thank you for making our lives fuller and reminding me what actually matters. Pete. That says it all. This little guy, Henry, came into the Davidson household and right at a time that most people needed a beacon of hope, more love, and he connected a family and got them through the pandemic and was so much more than just that. And somehow animals, people can get sick and it can happen very quickly. And he passes away at two. I, that's incredibly young and incredibly sad, but he, he left his mark. And that's really what this show is about. If you have a dog for two weeks or 20 years, it doesn't matter. It's what they meant to you and those in your unit, in your family. So uh, very sad indeed that we lost Henry, that the Davidsons lost Henry. But uh, I'm really proud that uh, and happy to share it here. I'm glad that he shared it on the Instagram. I'm glad the writer, uh, David, did the honors and shared this with everybody. And that's really uh, what I wanted to say. I, I'm, I want to do more episodes. Of course, we have more people lining up. But tribute episodes are episodes nonetheless. We're here promoting dogs' lives, celebrating their lives, what they mean to us. And uh, yeah, someone just recently told me, which was really spot on, that even when you lose dogs, uh, you know, they're with you. They, they leave their mark. Uh, they leave that uh, scar tissue in you forever. It's so... So very true. So thank you so much for listening. And please be sure to subscribe to the Dog On podcast and the Dog On YouTube live channel. You can also really help us by giving the show a five-star rating on Apple Podcast. And for all you listeners that enjoy sharing your thoughts, you can leave us a review on Apple Podcast, send us a direct message, or post a comment on any Dog On social media platform. We also highly recommend checking out our other podcasts and visiting JustCuriousMedia.com.